three decades, this Southern Indiana cemetery has been the final resting spot of a John Doe. Buried here in Harrison County after remains were found along the Ohio River in the spring of 1992. In all of these years, he was just 27 miles away from us. Gladys Officer and her family spent decades praying for the safe return of her son, Kenneth Waters, who suffered from schizophrenia. He left her Louisville home in December 1991 and was never seen again. I couldn't really grieve because I didn't know. Now I'm going through a grieving process. Like my granny, I feel like I just lost my uncle. Like now I know that he ain't never coming back. While it was bittersweet, it was closure. And it was this pair, a Harrison County detective and the coroner who provided that. You're on a mission to do something very important. After a call from another police agency regarding a separate case, Detective Chris Burks decided to dust off the cold case late last year. There's family out there somewhere that needs closure. But when the detective pulled that case file, there really wasn't much to it. A copy of an old newspaper article and a court order. Still, Detective Burks felt confident this is a case that could be solved. Eventually, DNA technology helped identify Kenneth Waters. But before that, there was the task of locating the unmarked grave and later getting the courts to issue an order to exhume the remains. That was in June. The clock was ticking and the coroner knew it. But within two months came a positive ID. I had nightmares thinking about this mom uh, having passed before we got to talk to her. She had prayed for 29 years for her, someone to find her missing son before she left this earth. At 84, Gladys Officer is grateful for the peace that's evaded her for nearly three decades, all because of two strangers. They cared. They cared. Lord Adams, WLKY News. And tomorrow, Waters' remains will be transported to Indianapolis. A forensic anthropologist will do a full examination to determine if there had been trauma or if foul play was involved in his death.